why did I serve in the military? Uh, in order to answer that question, I'll need to um, talk a little bit about my background. So my parents are immigrants to this country. They're both now U.S. citizens. But what brought them to America was the American dream to be able to uh, work hard, to provide a better life for us, and to give back. And so growing up, we heard almost every single day about how uh, great America is and the opportunities and freedoms that we have. And so it was no surprise at all when I and then later on my other sibling, um, my younger brother, decided to join the military and give back. It was a way for us to give back for our parents for what they had sacrificed for us to come to this country. But also we wanted to also make sure that those freedoms and opportunities that my parents uh, always talk to us about continued on for future generations. So that's why we joined the military. Well, I knew after high school I wasn't going to be able to afford college due to financial reasons. Uh, and Air Force allowed me to go to college uh, for free while I was enlisted. I also knew that it would better prepare me to become a police officer. Why did my wife decide to serve in the military? Uh, my wife's a go-getter. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I fell in love with her was just there's this verse in the Bible that talks about, I think it's in Solomon, or it talks about a woman like tan from work, and my wife isn't tan. She's this little white thing, but she's always worked so hard at whatever she puts her hand to. And she started thinking about the military as a career, I really think, from her father. And she talks about from an early age, eighth grade, writing reports about uh, going to the Air Force Academy. What does my husband serving in the military mean to me? Um, three things actually, sacrifice, responsibility, and service. Um, we have sacrificed a lot as a family, a lot of family time together. A lot of people don't realize the amount of sacrifice that is. Some people think, oh, well, it's nice to take a break from someone, but when you don't see someone for two and a half years out of five years of your marriage, even though it's broken up, that's how me and my husband spent our first five years of marriage, apart. Um, the responsibility of it all is coming to terms with the fact that your husband, your spouse who's serving in the military, they're not just responsible for you and your children and paying the bills. They're they have a whole larger sense of responsibility for their job, the mission in the military, all of that. And then service is a big part because my husband served, um, he volunteered, He did his 20 years in the military and retired just recently. I served because I chose not to uh, not to work, stay home and take care of the kids more, give them that stable household. I served other young spouses. I served um, my kids' schools, Girl Scouts, band boosters, all sorts of things. And so I know a sense of service and so do my kids because of that. I believe I would because I had a really good experience in the military and I enjoyed the places that I traveled and it was nice to meet different people and see different cultures and I, I just really enjoyed it. Yes, I would. I would do the same thing the same way. Um, yeah. What advice would I give to future students? You know, in, in regards to the military, like, I go for it. You know, I think uh, it's good to have purpose in this world, even at a young age, knowing what you are working for or what you're not working for. I think it's, it's invaluable. And if it's one thing I've learned from my wife and her career choice, it's that um, it, it, it's good to dedicate yourself to something that helps people. And uh, she's a shining example of that. Um, what advice would I give to future generations or students that want to be in the military? Um, the biggest advice I have for anybody that's interested in joining the military is just um, doing really well in school because it opens a lot of doors if you do well. Um, even though we kind of think of the military as being kind of an option if you don't want to do school, um, sometimes I think the better you do in school, the more options that you end up having as a result of, of doing well. And it also, um, like you're going to have better critical skills critical thinking skills, you're gonna have better um, reasoning abilities. It's just gonna open a lot more doors for you no matter what you end up doing. 
My advice would be that this, I absolutely love the military and um, it's a great life, but it's not for everyone. And if you're considering it, you definitely have to be willing to um, sacrifice, that's huge, and to uh, know how to follow orders with perfection. Um, it's, it's very uh, regimented life, but at the same time, it's a brother and sisterhood that is so unique. If I am among veterans or if I go to a military installation, I instantaneously feel like I belong. Like they, there's a, um, a connection or a bond, I, I guess I can't even explain it, that is very unique, that those of us who have um, served instantaneously recognize it, that uh, we belong together. So um, I recommend it, but it's not meant for everyone. And you definitely have to be willing to be broken down and molded into the being part of a fighting force. So um, it's, it's, a, it's a life of sacrifice, but so well worth it. I would like to uh, say that uh, the military is a, is a good opportunity for growth. Uh, the things that you get out of the military you can't find in any other place. The community, the uh, fellowship, the, the Marine Corps is only 150,000 people, for example, and that's just not much bigger than the size of Abilene. And so there's a real bond and camaraderie that, that comes from that no matter where you serve. And, you know people, uh, it was almost impossible to go someplace that you didn't know someone else that, would, that you'd serve with or someone who knew somebody. And there's a, there's a community spirit to that and the opportunities uh, to uh, travel and do things that, that few other people get to do. And, and I would certainly look at it and, that, uh, from those points, uh, from a personal growth uh, the sense of integrity and honor that you get, uh, the sense of responsibility that you get. It's hard to find places where you can grow and develop that uh, if you don't already have it.